Hello everybody, I hope this finds you well. I have been under the weather for a couple of days. I'm feeling better now. Uh, give me time to sit here uh, work on some projects that I've been working on haven't had time to do. Um, I'll be getting back to work today. Uh, I made this video for you. Uh, it's rough. Excuse the crudeness of it. Uh, but I believe it will help demonstrate uh, something I've been seeing and and working on. Uh, it's not completed yet. I hope to uh, do more on this and, and get more with it. Uh, but like I say, I've been under the weather and my mind isn't quite all there yet. Uh, I'm getting better. Uh, thank you for your prayers. Um, I'll just get on with this and, and show you the little thing I did here. Show the clip, showed. Here you see the constellations. The zodiac of the zodiac moving along the ecliptic as viewed from my perspective on this earth. Here you see what the procession would look like if I was to live long enough to see it. The procession takes thousands of years. See how the ecliptic line would move through the procession. Now let me explain the grid that I use here. You see here it says east. This point is due east of my location. Here's the zenith, that X, that marks the straight, no, straight up, straight up from my position. Alright. Each one of these horizontal lines is one hand. I'm using a old school. I don't have a sextant. One hand, stack another hand, stack another hand, at arm's reach. One hand up, one hand, one hand, one hand. Should be similar to close to the same for everybody because of your size and the size of your hands and the reach of your arms. It should be very close to your approximation. So these are approximate measurements. You see here that's northeast, southeast, due east. There's North, South, there's Leo, there's West, okay, I've been using East because uh, I'm, uh, I don't stay up real late, but I've been making measurements of Leo. Making measurements of Leo and the movement in relationship to Mars. I've been studying the retrograde movement of Mars. And I'll show you my plot to that. Okay, here you have my plot. As I every night at ten thirty at night, there's a skip there that was me uh having rain nights where I couldn't see it. I'll repeat that. I slow it down. Each day's observation. Coming up here, you see Mars still moving with Leo. Now it moves backwards, but it's still moving forward in the night sky. It's still moving in the same direction. 
watch it move again here. I started these observations into February. Sorry I don't have the exact dates, but it was at 10.30 at night, every night in February, until April the 3rd. This is what Mars, this is what Mars is doing here, we see it begins to move backwards, appears to, but it's not. If you'll notice, it's still moving forward in the grid. Move again. Okay, that skip was rain night. You see where Mars is. And watch, see, it appears to move backwards, but really, watch it again. Where it begins to start moving backwards, appear to move backwards. It's not really moving backwards, it's really kind of slightly standing still while everything else is still moving. Again. Now these aren't precise measurements. I don't have the equipment to make such precise measurements. This is my observation with my eye. Well, um, that's the beginning of it. Um, I haven't been able to look at Mars the last couple of nights. It's been cloudy, kind of rainy here. Um, uh, this is going somewhere, and I'm not wanting to give it away yet where I'm going to with this. But uh, in time, all will be revealed. And, uh, thank you for your indulgences. If you see something wrong with what my observations are showing, or if I made a mistake in anything, let me know. Be kind. Uh, as I am under the weather, and not quite all here, so if I made a mistake, it's quite possible to have made a mistake. Uh, none of that was to scale. Uh, of course, you've seen what my scaling method was. The hands. One, two, three, four. If you go up like that, you know, you know which way due east is, or due west, or due north is, you'll be able to follow my charts. I am making a few of them because of Mars isn't the only planet out there, and Leo's not the only uh, constellation. I'm kind of prejudiced of Leo anyway, that's because I was born under that sign. Not that I'm into astrology, I think it's astrology's a joke, actually. But uh, there's more to the way the stars and planets move than what they tell you in school and they don't want you to know certain things. At least that's what I'm getting the impression from NASA. Um, so, um, thank you all, and uh, have a good day.